Yeah, let, let's start our trip today from AKG State, where the chief executive, former chief executive of the, of the state, Peter Ayodele Fayoshe, is not your run-of-the-mill politician. He's a man of many parts, featuring on TVC News' current affairs show, Politics Tonight, on Thursday. Mr. Fayoshi remarked that God was kind to Ekiti State for making Oyibanji the governor. He urged the state indigents to support the new governor so he might deliver on his electoral promises. I wonder if it is necessarily true that in politics there's no honor. But first, let's hear from the former Hemsman, uh, Fayoshi himself. The governor of Ekiti. I've said it before, that is the best hand we have for now. Oyebanji is doing very, very well. You see, one of the things that the young man is doing is to look for all the leaders of the state. We didn't do most of that. Fayemi don't even do any. In terms of go and look for, Fayemi is an Englishman. I am an equity man. We all, our ways are different. This man took part of Fayemi's way took part of Fayoche's way, took part, part of uh, Adebayo's way, and forging ahead. He has chosen not to have any enemy. And I was in a kitty for a function. I, I was in his car. He took me to see a few things. My sister, what I saw, I'm more than impressed. Mm. Oh, Banji can't feed me. Oh. Me too, I have small change. Oh. I have small change. A kitty does not have the resources to feed somebody like me. My mouth is wide. So, but when we see when somebody is doing well, I cannot hide it all. If Oyebanji is doing well in an election, I will say go and vote for Oyebanji, Emi, me. If Oyebanji goes off track, I will come to this station and say that Oyebanji is very, very bad now. So far, so good. He's doing very, very well. I endorse him. All right. And I endorse his people. Yeah. Uh, they, some folks think he's a gadfly. Oh, I see that. Well, Fayoshe is a gadfly because some folks think he is a gadfly because they are not sure what comes from him next. But praising an incumbent who is not of his political family mm -hmm. is a little something unusual. Yes, but. Um... I can say that oh, she has spoken the truth. I, before now, we've had other leaders mm. speak glowingly about the same man because his politics is right. That's Oyebanji. Yes. And when Faoshe said that he has picked this from me, picked that from uh, uh, Adebayo, mm. picked this from... It was on this program that I described him in that manner some months back. Fao Shea was the governor who liked to inspect his projects at night, who likes to, or who likes to catch mm. contractors on our wares. Mm. Keep, keep, keep keeping them does, on their on their toes. Oyebanji does that too. Mm. You will never be able to predict when he will come and see the project. That's one trait okay. that Fauci was known for. He could inspect project at 10 p.m. You'll never be able to determine what he will do next. So Fauci has this populist um, agenda, outlook, populist dis uh, disposition. Yeah. Oyebanji has it as well. And in terms of uh, Brim Fruga, you could also say that Oyebanji has picked up that threat from uh, Shegoni. So it's, it's, it looks like someone who has uh, who observed the attitudinal disposition of the governors before him and decided to borrow some of the ideas to make him a total package. Yeah. That is what I think he is doing. And um, look, everyone that has met him 
has left with a very positive impression. I was yeah. reading what uh, Baba Femi Ojudu said about and You know, you can't say Ojudu is a flippant person. Mm -hmm. Because to earn his loyalty, somebody that I worked with was my direct supervisor for years. To earn his loyalty, you must really work for it. That's the sort of person that is. People will say it's difficult or is someone difficult to understand. But that's the way he is. But to earn his loyalty, you must have really, really worked for it. And for Ojudu to come out, say positive things about a governor. Yeah, yeah. I'm convinced that Bao is on a good track and that Ekit is in a good place in his hands. Emeka, when former Governor Fayoshe says uh, the, the comment that fire me now in Yibo man, uh, okay, <clears throat> made you laugh. But, but he meant fire me was uh, somebody aloof for something? Was fire me really? Was he aloof? Was he no, really? Not, not, not really aloof. Maybe he had this Western disposition towards politics. Mm -hmm. Having lived abroad, mm -hmm. you know, for a long while, and having been involved with the uh, CSO community, you know, and of course he had he had also been involved in pro democracy from abroad. So even the way, even some people laugh at the way he speaks. You know, he speaks your <laughs> so. That you know, it has this, it has this Western um, intonation, so that's why there was some might call him an annoying man. But I think what this governor has done is that he has tried to avoid the landmines, some of which Fauci deliberately walked into, and was bruised. Mm. Yes, fighting people, fighting different interest groups, and all of that, but. I think Biodo Ibanji he started first of all by meeting with his predecessors, meeting with important people in the state, not minding, you know, and then also meeting with his opponents. So in that way, he was able to at least deaden any expected fire from his opponents. Um, well, I think also for Fauci to say that I'm not surprised because Fauci has from even from the time of the election, shown that his loyalty lies with Biodo Ibanji, not that his loyalty lay with Biodo Ibanji, not with BC Kolaholi, or the PDP. Yes. So, in a way, yes, fine, as a citizen of the state, it's good to encourage the governor. But at the same time, I, I, I think it's, it's, it, it doesn't speak too well of the kind of politics Fauci plays. Yes, because... Yes, you are commending this man, but you have said that if the man is not doing well, mm, yeah. you will speak again. On what basis? As a PDP man or as Fauci, people should know where you stand. Yeah. It's not as if I'm saying that opposition politics should necessarily be adversarial, but there should be principle in it. So that if you are praising the governor who is in another party, mm, mm. let it be based on principle, not the fact yeah, that people yeah. say, uh, yeah. what do you expect? Fauci also said, he, he gave that red flag, no, 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 yellow flag. If Oye Banji uh, leaves the rail, I'm going to, to chastise him. Yes, uh, that means his loyalty is not permanent. Yeah. <laughs> his loyalty is to the extent that you remain on track. And I think that our, our kind of politics needs to change. Mm. Mm. There's nothing wrong in publicly praising a governor that does not belong to your party, if he's doing well. Okay. After all, People are in government for public good. Mm. And if good things happen in the state, the, 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 there's a popular, popular saying that when the rain falls, it doesn't fall on only one man's no, roof. No, no, you know, so if good things come to a state, you all stand to benefit. So yeah. if we all need to, you look at, look at a governor like the governor of uh, Bono State, for example. Across party lines, oh, yes. oh, yeah. people oh, yeah. admit that he's doing well. Mm. People should be able to say, look, we are doing well, without party members saying, oh, maybe you are, you are patronizing him because you want money from him. Yes. You know? Yeah. So we should be able to do that. I like the way the Americans play their politics. When the midterm elections come, people fail to work for their people. They always punish them. That's it. And they vote across party lines. 
you know? So they don't care whether you are, you are a Republican. If that governor is doing well, they will vote for him. All so right. I, I think uh, that was so, the way so, it should so be. So we wish uh, Governor Oyebanji very well. Uh, he must remember that in Nigeria, uh, we are moving from politics of right and left to politics of right and wrong, if you understand what I mean. All right, to our next... <laughs>